Hello friends, welcome back to PS Desire. In the skin editing tutorial, I will be showing you an entirely new method to achieve glamorous skin using Photoshop AI. You may have already seen my previous videos on skin smoothing, retouching and the use of AI actions for skin editing. If not, I highly recommend checking them out on my channel to get familiar with those techniques. However, this new approach is something different and super easy. We will be utilizing channels and blending modes to create beautiful skin with that model like texture commonly seen on magazine covers. To get started for this demonstration, I have selected a photo with rough skin, shiny areas and dark spots. But worry not, we will address all these issues with just few simple steps. Firstly, to begin this skin editing tutorial, open the photo you would like to work on in Photoshop beta. Once the image is open, navigate to the channels panel. Now the next step is very crucial. We need to select the darkest channel among the three red, green and blue channels to proceed. In most cases, the blue channel tends to be the darkest. So to select it, simply click on the blue channel in the channels panel. Once you have the blue channel selected, the next move is to duplicate it. To do this, drag the blue channel over to the create new channel icon. This action will create a copy of the blue channel. Now with the blue copy channel still active, apply a Gaussian blur filter. From the filter menu, select blur and then choose Gaussian blur. A dialog box will pop up allowing you to adjust the blur settings. To achieve the best results, we need to choose a large radius value for the Gaussian blur. A radius value of around 50 pixels or even more is recommended depending on the resolution and sharpness of the image you are using. For this particular case, a value of around 60 pixels is sufficient. The reason behind applying this blur is it acts as a reference or depth map for AI generated content. By blurring out all the sharp details in this channel, the AI will be guided to generate content that closely follows the shape and contours present in this blur channel. This helps in avoiding any disfiguring or unnatural looking results when blending the AI generated skin with the original photo. Think of it as providing the AI with a template of how the skin texture and shading should generally appear. This ensures that the AI generated content is not drastically different from original skin, maintaining a cohesive and realistic outcome. Once you have set the Gaussian blur radius to the desired value, click OK to apply the blur. Now make a selection of the blue copy layer. To do this, hold the control or command key and click on the channel thumbnail. You will see the marching ants which are the selection but our aim is to have an invisible selection. To achieve this, we will adjust the channels, brightness and contrast to make it darker. Go to image adjustments, select brightness and contrast adjustment and reduce both brightness and contrast sliders. The channel becomes darker now and click OK to apply the changes. After making the channel darker, hold Ctrl or Command and click on the channel thumbnail again. The selection remains intact but the pixels won't be visible on the image. A warning may appear stating that no pixels are more than 50% selected and the edges won't be visible. Don't worry, this is good news. The selection is still there but it won't affect the overall appearance. Click OK to dismiss the warning. Even though the selection is invisible to our eyes, the channel is still loaded as a selection in Photoshop beta. Now click back on the RGB channel in the channels panel, ensuring the blue copy is not visible. Return to the layers panel and turn on contextual taskbar by going to windows menu and enabling the contextual taskbar. Now it's time to utilize the generate to fill feature. Click on the generate to fill. You will need to enter a text prompt that describes the specific skin enhancements. For this demo, I choose the prompt skin smoothing, skin toning and skin coloring. With the prompt entered, click on the generate button to let the AI work its magic and generate the results based on the given prompt. Upon generating the results, keep in mind that the output may vary depending on the image and whether the generate to fill understands the style and effect you are asking for. In my case, as I have been working on this for over a month now, AI may have a better understanding of my preferences. In the current situation, I found the third set of variations to be good enough. However, to be sure and have more options to choose from, I decide to generate one more set. After generating the additional set, 
carefully inspect all three variations. Among them, I find the final one particularly appealing and suitable for this task. If you find that results are not meeting your expectations, I recommend closing Photoshop beta and reopening it again. By trying the generator fill one more time, you may find that the AI eventually understands what you are looking for and provide you with better results. Next, we need to blend the newly generated faces with the underlying background photo to retain the natural texture of the original skin. Double click on the generative layer in the layers panel. This will open the layer style dialog box. In this case, we will be focusing on the blend if section. You may want to experiment with different settings for this layer blending based on your skin lighting and color tone. For fair skin, try the underlying layer and for dark skin tones, the current layer might work better for a more natural looking results. Start by dragging the underlying layer, black sliders towards the white side. This action essentially tells Photoshop to blend the dark areas of the generative layer with the corresponding darker areas of the underlying photo. Now to achieve a seamless blend, hold down the Alt or Option key and click on the black slider. It splits into two halves. By moving one half towards the white, you create a smoother transition between the generative layer and the original photo. This blending technique ensures that the new skin texture aligns naturally with the existing features, contours and lighting of the subject in the background photo. As a result, you avoid any noticeable edges or inconsistencies between the generated skin and the rest of the image. After adjusting the blending options, click OK to apply the settings. Now it's time to zoom in on the image to take a closer look at the skin texture. You will notice the significant progress we have made in enhancing the skin, creating a more glamorous and model-like appearance. Now take a soft brush and work with the layer mask of the generative layer. The layer mask allows us to selectively reveal or hide parts of the layer. Choose the black color for your brush. In this step, we will want to preserve the original details of the eyes and hair, which likely look more realistic and accurate in underlying photo. So carefully paint over these areas using the black brush to conceal the generative content. Painting with black on the layer mask will hide the content of the generative layer in the areas you paint over. Ok, alright, and let's move on to next step, removing dark spots. Removing any remaining dark spots from the skin is an important step in achieving a flawless and professional look. For this task, my personal favorite tool is the remove tool, which works like a magic to erase unwanted elements in the photo seamlessly. To start, create a new blank layer above all the other layers in the layers panel. This new layer will act as a non-destructive editing layer. Now with the new blank layer selected, choose the remove tool from the Photoshop toolset. The remove tool is designed specifically for this type of task, making it easy to paint over and remove any dark spots or imperfections. Set its sampling option to sample all layers. Now simply paint over the dark spots on the new blank layer. As you do so, you will notice that the tool effectively erases the dark spots, leaving behind a smooth and blemish free skin texture. The remove tool works intelligently by analyzing the surrounding pixels and filling in the removed spot with appropriate textures, making it an efficient and reliable tool for retouching photos. Remember to take your time and be gentle with the brush strokes, ensuring that you remove the dark spots without affecting other areas of the skin. We are almost at the final stage of our skin editing, but let's add a touch of glamour to elevate the overall look of the photo. We will make a stamp visual copy of the entire image to ensure all the adjustments we have made so far are preserved in one layer. To do this, press the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus Shift plus Alt plus E or Command plus Shift plus Option plus E for Mac users. This will create a new layer at the top of the layers panel. Right click on the stamped visible layer and select convert to smart object. Head to the top menu and select filter, camera raw filter. Inside the camera raw dialog box, you will find a section for presets. Open the presets panel and among the available options, locate the adapt to portrait presets. Choose the glamour portrait preset. This preset is designed to add a touch of glamour and sophistication to portrait images, making it perfect for our skin enhanced photo. 
Great news is that these presets come pre-installed with Photoshop so you won't need to download or install anything extra. Once you have selected the Glamour Portrait preset, click OK to apply the changes. And that's it friends, check out the before and after to witness the stunning transformation. I hope you enjoyed this technique and if you did don't forget to subscribe for more photoshop tips tricks and techniques. If you enjoyed my teaching and work I kindly request you to support by becoming a member of this channel or by supporting me on patreon. Thanks for watching please like share and comment I will see you guys in my next video take care happy editing.